My life on the X list. Hey, what's up there, YouTube? It's me, the Diva X, and I, um, for those of you who read my blog, I posted, um, yesterday a video, yeah, last night a video, or maybe it was this morning, I don't even know, a video regarding, um, Harvey Milk, or a little kind of, like, montage, um, of one of his speeches, um, and, uh, the reason, like, well, yesterday I had the opportunity to see the movie for the first time. Um, I had heard about the movie prior when they started filming, and I just kind of, uh, kept up on the movie making of it, just because I, you know, I wanted to know how that was going, but I didn't want to know the story because I wanted to watch the movie, bef um, and I didn't really do the history search and the research that I normally do, um, when things intrigue me as it did, because I wanted really just to not really know anything and really enjoy the movie, because if I knew the story, then, you know, I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. So, yesterday... Um, I guess the film was released on the 26th of November, uh, limited release to the bigger cities, and then I think December 5th on the other theaters, and of course Fresno got it yesterday. So, um, the movie, it was just an amazing movie. Uh, more so, it was a really sad movie. Like, I probably cried through the whole thing, just because, and here's the reason why, is because when I was watching the film... There are so many scenes that really could have been shot yesterday. Like, it really... I mean, well, I mean, I guess it was wrong yesterday. But, like, it really could have been the story of what's happening now. It really could have been the story of Prop 8. And actually, it was a different proposition that they were fighting for. But it, it's just... To me, I was just in tears because it's so scary that here we are again and we're doing the exact we're repeating history you know what i mean we're fighting for something that we really shouldn't have to fight for you know um it's it was so, it was just it was sad disturbing it was like all of that in mixed you know what i mean and the story was wonderful the actors were wonderful sean penn i mean i really never really liked sean penn really because he's ex madonna ex mr madonna you know what i mean but this role, I mean, everything that I've ever thought about him before, out the door, I mean, you know, he's really, um, he's really put himself into this one, you know, and, I mean, I've seen other works of him, but, you know, maybe not so great, but this movie, it's, I think it was more so the message, and that really kind of helped in his, uh, portrayal of the role, you know what I mean, like, the impact of it, and, and I think more so the impact of, that it had on me, and probably everyone in that theater and you know people were clapping at the end and it, it was just it's an amazing movie so if you get an opportunity or if you're anywhere near the opportunity to watch it um if you're a Fresno and you want to go see it I want to go see it again you know and it's it's a great 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 film it is I I don't know I cannot wait for it to come out on DVD um and it really kind of inspired me um and it i don't know i i it, it i was just so like dumbfounded at the whole th that we are truly reliving history right now you know we're in the movement of where we were at that time of the film and it's it's scary you know and it, there's the characters that, and not necessarily the characters as in who they are but the essence of the characters what they stand for and what what they're using um the propaganda they're using in order to persuade the people of america and the it, it's just an ongoing situation and it's scary because here we are doing it again you know and same same politics not same politics but same defenses same same everything really i mean a different cause but everything that's going into it is for is is exactly the same the same hatred the same talks the same reasons why it's so i i, I don't really know how to describe it because it's it's you, when you see it, it's just so eerie. For those of you that have, you know, kept up on the Prop 8 and, um, you know, are maybe part of the movement or, or whatever, it's so scary that when you hear the things that they say, it's like, I've just, I just heard someone say that. I just heard that pastor say that. I just heard whoever say that. I just heard the mayor say that, you know, and to, to have to hear it again, you know, and, 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 and to know that it happened before my time and to know that we're still in this battle i like i don't know i just get emo i'm getting emotional so i'm gonna stop talking about it because it's just 
I don't know. Just go see the movie. My eyes are watering. My makeup going to be running. And it's not going to end up cute here. So, go see Milk. Um, if you're reading, if you're not, um, reading this on my blog, if you just watch it on YouTube, just, just, uh, YouTube search Harvey Milk. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, just go in and, um, if you never heard of Milk before, go in and type in Harvey Milk, um, and just watch some of the videos, you know, and don't watch them all, especially if you have plans to watch the movie, because I don't want you to, like, get, you know, ruin it and stuff, but... Just, just do that, you know, and just get some insight on, uh, I don't know. If you're going to go see the movie, don't do that. If you don't have plans to go see the movie, then go to YouTube and, and watch some clips. Um, not of the movie, of the actual events, history, his speech, stuff like that. That's what you need to see. Um, and I I don't know. I'm going to be out because, again, I'm getting emotional. And I, yeah. Yeah.